The woman playing ragtime wanted to be a concert pianist. Then she wanted to be a jazz singer, and she became one. But a phone call from a bass player called Ethel Guy changed all that. Say goodbye, my own true lover, as we sing a love song. I still need you there beside me, no matter what I do, for I know I'll never find another you. They couldn't have been bigger unless they'd been the Beatles. The secret was, of course, that their simple blend of pop and folk music appealed to a simpler age, a less blasé and less worldly New Zealand. They reflected the times and appealed to all ages. They were safe, and Judith Durham was the gal next door, and she could sing. She still can. ask you a personal question. Do you ever uh, get time for men on your trips around the world? <laughs> but it's not very much time for a, a personal social life as such, you know. I, I meet lots of men in, in the work I do and I think in a way this is a lot more rewarding than perhaps going out to a party and meeting people under fairly artificial circumstances. The years have been kind to Judith Durham. She made the switch from pop stardom to marriage and maturity with ease. She became a vegetarian and somewhat spiritual. She's never been out of work in venues right across the globe. She hasn't sought stardom since those heady days, but the critics have raved, and her strength as a songwriter has shone through too. When starlight fades, the day comes in from somewhere. Birds start their songs all anew. I enjoyed being in the Seekers, but I felt like a little sparrow in a cage, you know, as well. Very lovely cage, but I knew that wasn't all there was to me. I knew, I mean, material success to me meant absolutely nothing. You know, fulfilment in life meant, meant everything and happiness in life. Judith and husband Ron Edgeworth took over the hotel piano for a while this afternoon for an impromptu performance in a hotel foyer it was pretty good. Among Judith Durham's beliefs is a faith in reincarnation. Listening to her sing 25 years on, her voice certainly sounds born again. Or maybe it just never went away. I'm 